Good morning. Happy Wednesday. Happy hump day. I just got out of the shower and I'm going to do my skincare. Um, but if you saw yesterday's video, um, you saw that I showed these Cloud Valley sticky gel pads. One of you guys actually told me about these and sent me the link and I finally got them. And I did say yesterday that we were going to try them out, but I never like got around to trying them yesterday. So we're trying them out right now. I have, I actually put two on my mirror only because my case has a pop socket on it. So it wouldn't really balance when I stuck it where the pop socket is at. So I put one like at the top and at the bottom. So yeah, <laughs> there's two up there. Okay, so I think it should be good. It looks like it's gonna, it's gonna be good. I went to Sephora and I got all of my skincare that I needed. So if you remember, I actually switched over to Glow Recipe and I had been using just their little like travel size, I guess, sample sizes. Um, I bought this whole kit. It was called the Fruit Babies. And I really love all of the um, all of the products that I've been using. It definitely has changed my skin for the better. Like my skin was so extremely dry. Not so extremely dry. That's that's like over exaggerating but my skin was very dry and even with all the CeraVe products that I was using my skin was still dry and after I started using glow recipe my skin has improved so much my skin is just like so soft it's still like it's still dry when I get out of the shower like right now my skin is starting to tight tighten but not as much as before and then when I put everything on, my skin literally feels so soft, like baby skin. So I'll show you guys what I've been using. Um, and everything is Glow Recipe. So I have the Watermelon Glow PHA plus BHA Pore Tight Toner. And look, they have like a limited edition Pride bottle. It's so beautiful. Normally the bottle is just pink, like this color. But look how beautiful. So yeah, I had to get this. For sure, for sure, for sure. I just popped off the, <laughs> there's like a little seal on the top. I just popped that off. I just use a little cotton round. Okay, and then. And it does smell a little bit like watermelon, but the scent does go away. Go wow. The scent does go away. So if you're sensitive to scents, I think this should be fine for you because it only smells like when you're putting it on and then you don't smell it anymore. And it's very faint. Okay, so then I go in with the Plump, no, it's called Plum Plump Hyaluronic Serum, Deep Hydration and Glow. So that's what that looks like. And it is like a little pump and I just do one pump. So like very little. Okay, and then the one thing I didn't get because they were sold out is the Watermelon Glow Pink Juice Moisturizer Lotion. It's like a... It's more like a lotion. It's not very like moisturizing. It's it's not moisturizing as a cream. Like it's not thick like that. Um, I can actually show you. So it looks like that. This on its own is not enough hydration for me, for sure. Like the first time I used it, my skin still felt tight after. But with the sunscreen over this, it's fine. Like this is like enough moisture for me. But what I bought instead was the Plum Plum Hyaluronic Cream. Because this is more for dry skin. So that's the cream. I'm not going to try this right now because I just put that other cream on or the other the moisturizer. So we'll try this tonight. I'll probably use this at night. 
Okay, and then I bought the Avocado Melt Retinol Eye Cream. With eye creams, honestly, I never know. I can't really tell a difference. But I bought it anyways because I had like the little one and I was using it. So I was like, you know what? Why not? So I wish this came with like a little spatula. So I'm going to use this. This one does not really, like it has a scent, but it does have a scent, but I don't know what it is. It's not like something, like it's not avocado. <laughs> it's just like a very faint, just like, I don't know, makeup scent, but it goes away. All of the scents that these have, like they just go away, so. This is the Water Glow Niacinamide Sunscreen SPF 50. And this is like my favorite, my favorite product. I love, well, I really like sunscreen. And I, this is going to be sound weird, okay? But I like sunscreen when it smells like sunscreen. This smells like watermelon and sunscreen. And I basically, I like the sunscreen scents because it makes me feel like I'm on vacation, like it just reminds me of like summer and summer vacation. I don't know if that's weird, it probably is, but this smells good because it's like watermelon and sunscreen. That's all I've been doing and it leaves my skin glowy and soft and moisturized and I love it. Oh, and then I also have the Dew drops, niacinamide dew drops. So I only use this like if I'm doing my makeup and I didn't even really use that much of it yet. I probably used, actually I probably used like half of it already, but I didn't buy the full size bottle yet. We'll get that next time. Um, I do actually want to get the full size of this. I know I said it's like not that moisturizing for me, but I do like using this during the daytime in combination with the sunscreen. So I am gonna pick up the full size bottle of this when I go back to the store, because this is almost empty. And then I do like having all these like little ones, like they're called fruit babies. It's really nice to have for travel. And then here was the toner. Oh, I should have used that. So I will probably buy another set of the Fruit Babies just to have for when we're on vacation. So we are going back to Vegas um, in like two weeks to spend time with um, Papa Bear's family. His brother, his brother's girlfriend, and the kids, they're going to Vegas for a week. So we're going to meet them there and hang out. And then also his other cousins who live in Vegas and his parents will be there too. So I'm super excited. Okay, I better hurry up because... I need to do some other things today. Basically, I just need to brush my hair. That'll be the last step. And this is what I use. It's a 10 leave-in conditioner. I've been using this for the longest time, probably ever since I started YouTube. I've already, I was already using this. So I just spray this everywhere and brush my hair and that'll be it. Hi guys, I am downstairs my hair is still wet but look at my hair like look at my hair no just like look how long it's gotten I kind of I mean I need a trim so I might just trim it myself but oh my goodness like like what okay anyways I actually got a request to do a what's in my bag so I was like, yes, I will show you what's in my bag. And if you saw yesterday's video, then you would have seen my new purse organizer. But I did, I guess I didn't really show you guys like what's in my bag or did I? I don't think I did, but maybe I did actually. I'm gonna do it again. If I already showed it yesterday, I'm sorry. But this is the bag that I'm currently using. It is a Speedy Bandolier 25, a Speedy 25 Bandolier. Um, and inside I do have the purse organizer, so that's what it looks like inside. And I don't have a lot of things in my purse, actually. Um, if I were, if I was using a bigger purse, I would have a lot more things, but 
I don't want to make it too heavy. Okay, so I have, I actually have the matching wallet for this purse. It's like a zippy. I don't know the exact name of this wallet. I think it's zippy wallet. Maybe it's not. I don't know. But that's what it looks like on the inside. You can actually fit um, a lot of things in here. Oh, shoot. I need to, you can fit a passport in here. I was going to show you about my passport because I normally have it in my purse, but it's actually upstairs in my other purse. But you can actually, yeah, you can fit a passport in here. So if you're looking for a Louis Vuitton wallet that can fit a passport, get this one. It fits. And then there's two slots. I mean, not two slots. There's like a little slip pocket right here and a coin, like a zippered pocket. And then in here, I just keep our vaccination cards. So that's my wallet and then I have this little bag this little like I guess like a coin or like a card purse card wallet card card holder Wow <laughs> in here I just keep my batteries for my camera so I have my batteries there and then when I need to change one out and then if it's dead like a dead battery I put it like in this little slip pocket just so I know which ones are fully charged and which ones are not and then i carry my airpods with me so cute and then um since we just got back from vegas i have our vegas house keys in my purse i know i normally don't carry that around though and then a pen just because you never know when you'll need a pen and then i have wet ones and i also have flushable wipes I always have to have both of these because this is for like cleaning surfaces, stuff like that, or your hands, and then for the bathroom. Then I have lotion. I always have to have a little lotion with me and my hand sanitizer. And I just bought one of these little travel, travel bottles from Target and I just refill it every single time. Not every single time. When it's running low, I refill it. I actually have like a big gallon of sanitizer that I bought at Costco and that's it that's everything that's in my purse I don't carry around my walking pharmacy if I have my big purse then I'll carry around my walking pharmacy like I'll put that in here but since my purse is small I don't have that in here I just have like the essentials and this um purse organizer you guys is like amazing if you're interested, like if you missed yesterday's video, I have it linked in my Amazon storefront. I believe I have it under the category accessories, like clothes and accessories or something. But look, look at how organized it is and how easy it is to find things. Because if you have a purse like this, then you know when you put something in here, it's lost. <laughs> like everything just gets thrown in there and you have to dig like you have to dig through everything just to find one thing so i love how organized it is i have my wallet is right there and i can just easily grab whatever i'm looking for so i definitely recommend it it's under 20 dollars. it's in my amazon storefront i also would have my sunglasses in here but i don't know exactly yet where i'm gonna put it i might just keep it on top just kind of like that but i could move things around and i could probably put it in like let me try hold on so i moved my hand sanitizer to the middle and then i put my sunglasses in the little slot like that this middle pocket can also zipper it can close so if you wanted to put like money in there or just you know i don't know something you want to be like not be seen you could put it in that pocket and then my car keys would just be like i don't know anywhere in there but yeah, it's super organized now and I love it. It's not focusing. There you go.
guys, today I'm showing you how to make pancet using the Mamacita's pancet mix. So you can use bihon or canton noodles. Um, each packet needs to be dissolved in two cups of water. So I'm using two packets here. You start by sauteing your onions. Just cook that for a couple of minutes. And then go ahead and add your garlic. I just cooked that for like a minute. And after that, you're going to add your shrimp and... If you want to use chicken, go ahead and add that in here. It needs to be cooked already though. So shrimp, chicken, Chinese sausage, whatever you like. And then go ahead and add in the sauce. I'm putting both of those in there. You're going to bring this to a boil. Once it starts boiling, go ahead and add all of your veggies in. I have cabbage, carrot, celery. You can put green beans. I just didn't have any. So we're gonna cook this for about two minutes and then add your noodles in. You're gonna wanna like submerge the noodles under all of this liquid. Just try to get it all down there, flip it over. I like to scoop it and then like put it on top. You just want all of your noodles to absorb all of the liquid. And then I also added some freshly ground black pepper, but that's basically all you have to do. You don't have to do any additional seasoning. And that's it. I like to squeeze on some lemon juice and you're good to go. I finished making pancet. I made pancet canton for lunch. And I was basically curious about this pancet mix. I've never used this before. I always make my pancet just from scratch. But I was curious, so I tried it, and it's it's good, but it's kind of salty, I think, well, to my taste. But it is good, like the flavor is good. And I think when you put lemon juice, it'll be better. But yeah, I like it. Do you guys remember the pickled daikon radish that I made the other day? Um, I, you guys, I love them so much, it's so good. I actually put Tabasco in here, that's why it looks like that. And um, I already went through the other jar. Like, this is all I have left. I love it so much, you guys. It's so good. Papa Bear doesn't like it as much as me. He says it kind of has, like, an aftertaste, but I like it. If you ever had, like, Labanos, like, in your sinigang, just imagine that. I don't know, but, like, pickled. <laughs> it's really good, and it's really good with Tabasco. Hello, Vanessa. Hi. We ordered more paper for her for the to make the origami stars and look, look at how much we got it on Amazon. So like solid colors and then there's like lighter colors, darker colors, brighter colors. What are these? They say I love you. Oh, they say I love you. That's pretty. And then these glitter and the glitter ones. ones. Are these all glitter? No, there's solid ones at the bottom. So this is what she's making. Paper stars. I taught her how to make them. I used to make these when I was a teenager. So cute, huh? You got someone new, I know it. Yeah. But I will keep on and I. I go fast, yeah, I go hard Wanna find some peace, so I pray to God To find a way to fix it all tonight we are having um, chicken alfredo bake but I'm gonna make it a shortcut way as I always make my alfredo 
well sometimes like very rarely I make it from scratch but I like to use just the Prego home style Alfredo sauce so I have two jars of that I have oh I have some penne noodles and then this is chicken tenderloins that I just cut into small pieces cleaned them took out that little thing in the middle and so I'm gonna cook the chicken I'm gonna season it, season it up and then I'm gonna cook the chicken add the sauce mix everything together top it with some cheese and then pop it in the oven so here's the sauce the chickens already in there the chicken is cooked um, I cooked the chicken first and then I put the sauce so that it could just you know warm up in there and then noodles we're waiting on that here is the pasta and the chicken and the sauce all mixed together now I'm just gonna transfer it to my baking dish and then I'm gonna top it with some mozzarella cheese Here is the pasta, the chicken alfredo bake, right out of the oven. I baked it at 375 uncovered for 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. 